Good morning. This morning uh, on this uh, Children's Day 2021, uh, we are pleased again to welcome Pastor Bill Dufay. Uh, after uh, worship this morning, we will be having a, a bag lunch picnic next door. Oh, indoors. Okay. Um, are there any announcements this morning? George. Good morning, everybody. I have a couple of announcements to make. First uh, is that the pastoral search committee will meet on Wednesday at four o'clock. If you have any uh, suggestions to uh, uh, who we may um, uh, ask if they want a job, um, uh, please ask them to get to me or another member of the search committee. Um, I do have a joy that I'm going to share with you right now is that I don't want to make a second trip back up here to the mic. I watched the show on uh, Granby's Public TV the other day and uh, <clears throat> it was a, a, a graduation from uh, sixth grade into seventh and one of our uh, members uh, received an award. <clears throat> it was a citizenship award. And I think that's the most important award any student will ever receive. So uh, if you'd uh, join me with a round of applause, and I don't mean to embarrass this young lady, but um, uh, share some applause for uh, Lydia Pike.
Does anyone else have any announcements this morning? I just wanted to uh, thank everybody for coming on this special Sunday and remind you all that uh, over in the parish house afterwards, the CE will be providing ice cream treats. And if you remember to bring your lunch, you can have that as well. And we're looking forward to enjoying fellowship together. Um, also, I know that you all, like me, are very glad to have our fellowship hour back, but it is struggling. So if there's a week where you can donate something for us to put out, or you can drop a couple of dollars in the basket, it does help us continue to be able to have that special time together after the service. Thank you. In the narthex, uh, there are the July-August upper room. Uh, since we won't be here in July, if you think to, pick one up on your way out today. And I will be collecting prayer request slips uh, during the first hymn this morning. And today we come together at the end of an extraordinary year to celebrate the young people in our congregation. You have been blessed this year to have the loving support of those here and those at home during the challenges of this past church school year. And going forward, you have the opportunity to bring change to the world around you as you practice Jesus' teachings that you have been taught here. So today as we worship and pray together, imagine the plans that God has for you and what gifts you have to offer to those you meet along the way. So God bless you all and let the light of Christ come forward. very little to do today, for which I'm sure you're all very grateful. Um, before we pass the peace, uh, I just want to say one little thing about passing of the peace, uh, and that is the word peace itself. I think we very often forget how important that is in our lives of faith. Peace meaning to me the absence of anxiety, the feeling that everything is good, everything is right. And you know, the idea of passing the peace in one way or another goes back probably to um, Adam and Eve after they had some family argument. Uh, but anyway, um, it goes way back. And it's rooted in all three of our uh, major uh, faiths. In Christianity, we say peace. Jews say shalom. And in Arabic, it's salam, or sometimes translated salim. But the word is the same, the meaning is the same, and it's so important to wish that peace for everyone. So let us do so now, as we rise to greet each other with the passing of the peace. Peace. Peace, 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 peace. Peace, peace, peace. Peace, peace, peace. 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 peace.
Okay. Please remain standing for the call to worship. And if you can't stand, you can you can be seated. All right. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. In this moment, in this place, you are loved. We are loved by God and grateful for all our blessings. We pray for those who are struggling and in need. May they feel the Holy Spirit and support our Creator. Please join together in the singing of the opening hymn, This is the Day, which is on page 209 in the Red Hymnal. We will sing it through two times. This is the day, this is the day. Please remain standing for the opening prayer. This is Liam's reading, but he's not here today, so I'm going to take over for him. All right, cool. Christ is with us. Christ is with us indeed. Let us pray. Dear God, you bless us in so many ways. Sometimes we don't recognize your wisdom and grace, but you have a way of reminding us. When we watch our children lead the way, and shine your light, we can't help but feel grateful. We are thankful for the little and big blessings in our lives. We are thankful for our children and our elders, our caretakers, and those who work behind the scenes. Please bless us and keep us with an attitude of gratitude. Amen. children's sermon today, we thought it'd be smart to just hear from one of the kids. So, Zylena has been practicing very hard and has agreed to sing us a song. This song is by Vertical Worship, and it's called God, You Are My God. Thank <laughs> you. 
No praise can define you. No thoughts can contain you, God. No other one is holy. No other one is rule to righteousness. God, you are my God. Glorious, glorious. No lights can outshine you. No power can see you, God. No other one is holy. And no other one is high and lifted up, God. You are Victorious, victorious. He said, No one like you, no one like you. From the dawn of time, you to the end of days, you're the God who saves. Say, all the earth will shout your praise. You will never change. You're the God who saves. Say, from the dawn of time, you reign. To the end of days, you're the God who saves. Say, all the earth will shout your praise. You will never change. You're the God who saves. Victorious, victorious. From the dawn of time, you reign to the end of days. For the God who saves, say, all the earth will shout your praise. You will never change. You're the God who saves, say. From the dawn of time, you Victorious, victorious. <laughs> See, she did a better job than I could have. Good morning. I am the chair of Memorial Gifts Committee, at least I think I am, 
and every year we award scholarships to our youth. This is the G. Newell Galusha Scholarship Fund, and this was started by Alice Galusha Weil back in the 70s. It is an endowment with money in it that does not belong to the church. It has been provided by the Galusha Scholarship, and we are to use the dividends each year to award scholarships. So this year we have four recipients. Most of them could not be here today because we know college students are extra busy, work, and all the things they have to do to prepare for their futures. So I'm going to name them, and um, most will have a adult representative to collect their scholarship. First, we have siblings, Braden and Tiana Dwinell. Braden is going to St. Michael's College in Colchester, Vermont, and his ultimate educational goal is to get a master's in history and a secondary in education, and his career aspiration is to be a history teacher. Tiana Dwinell, also known as Tia, and these are children of Greg Dwinell and Melissa Labonte, by the way. She just graduated from Holyoke Community with an associate's degree in visual arts, and in the fall she'll be attending Springfield College, where she hopes to get a bachelor's degree in art therapy with a minor in deaf studies or American Sign Language, and she wants to be an art therapist. I'm gonna ask right now for their aunt, Sharon Dwinell, to come forward and accept their scholarships on their behalf. Thank you. <coughs> Next up, we have Carly Mason, and she's here today. So I'm going to have her come up. You want to come up? She doesn't really. Um, <laughs> she is attending Tony and Guy's Hairdressing Academy in Worcester, and I will let her tell you what she is aspiring to ultimately. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to Tony and Guy Hairdressing Academy in Worcester. Ultimate big, big goal, I want to bring cosmetology into show business. I grew up a dancer, I love performing, and I want to mix my two loves together. So that's ultimate big dream. <laughs> Thank you. Here you go. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> And finally, we have Lillian Sickler, and her mom, Sherry, is here, and she is going to be attending Gwinnett Tech Community College in Lawrenceville, Georgia. And can I let you say something about that? Yeah, sure. I don't know. I am surprised you knew that much. You must have been talking to Lillian. <laughs> no, I actually read their applications. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess they didn't read that. I forgot about the application. You know, she's living far away. So yeah, Lillian's uh, back at it. She wants to, she's going to uh, begin her, well, she's doing it now. She's been, been in school online to get all her science behind her because she wants to be an RN. <laughs> and we all know we, we can't have enough of them. And yeah, I'm very proud of her. Well, and, that's and she wants to be a midwife too, right? Well, yeah, she's a doula. She wants to help children. That's her ultimate goal. Children who have been mis mistreated or abused, and and yeah, <clears throat> Lillian's always been a child of service. Thank you very much. Thank and you. Here you go. Which thank I you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, that concludes this part of the service. Thank you very much. <laughs>
Today's first reading will be Psalm 92, verse 1 through 4. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your steadfast love in the morning and your faithfulness by night, to the music of the lute and the harp, the melody of the lyre. For you, O Lord, had made me glad by your work, all the works of your hands I sing for joy. The second reading today is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 4, verses 26 through 34. He, meaning Jesus, also said, The kingdom of God is as if someone would scatter seed on the ground and would sleep and rise night and day, and the seed would sprout and grow. He does not know how. The earth produces of itself first the stalk, then the head, then the full grain in the head. But when the grain is ripe at once, he goes with it in with his sickle because the harvest has come. He also said, with what can we compare the kingdom of God or what parable will be used for it? It is like a mustard seed, which is when, which when sown upon the ground is the smallest of all seeds on earth. Yet when it is sown, it grows and becomes the greatest of all shrubs and puts forth the largest branches so the birds of the air can make nests in its shade. With such, men, with such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to hear it. He did not speak to them except in parables, but he explained everything in private to his disciples. Thank you. 
I had to look to Jeanette to see if I was supposed to do this. She gave me a copy of the bulletin earlier this week and uh, uh, said I, uh, I was out of town a little bit, and said um, in the email, uh, everything that you have to do is marked in red. So being uh, somewhat uh, efficient, I figured, okay, I will just uh, turn on the printer and uh, then I'll have it in front of me. Not realizing my printer was out of red ink. <laughs> <laughs> So I assume I'm supposed to do this, right? <laughs> okay, um, as we share our prayers and concerns today, uh, I uh, want to include these two people that I've gotten prayer requests for, also to include a neighbor of ours um, who um, has been very ill lately, and as of last night, there was an ambulance there. So. Uh, uh, we want to hold Bob in our prayers this morning, too. I also have prayers now for uh, Jean Lambert, who has fallen and broken her leg, and for the family of Ralph Bruce, uh, who died yesterday. Are there any others that we want to lift up this morning? There being um, none, then. Well, what, one didn't make it into the bulletin last week. Um, it was uh, Doug Labby's mother has passed away. Uh, they were former members here and were very active here while they were with us. And so keep them in your prayers. See, I never know what's going on behind me. <laughs> Let us be together in prayer. Ever gracious God, who has blessed us time and time again with wonderful new surprises, bless us yet again as we worship today in a very special way. Mindful that all of us are your children and that we are all related to one another in a very real sense, may the insights of our children and those who teach them resonate with all of us regardless of the year in which we were born, regardless of our specific genealogy, regardless of our ethnicity, and even regardless of the particular road of faith we choose to follow. May we put away all pride in who we think ourselves to be, and rather affirm once again who we are becoming. As we think of the education of our young people, may we realize anew that learning does not end until we take our final breath. Give us a yen for learning and grant us the grace to affirm other people, even when we walk different paths. Bless us also with the gift of discernment, that we might know the truth at all times and in all circumstances. Help us to weigh what other people teach us, whose influence we trust the most, what experiences have colored what others would teach us? What hidden agendas might lie under the lessons we would be taught? As the hymn says so well, grant us wisdom, grant us courage for the living of these days. Today, Almighty One, we would lift up before you the needs of all your people. We pray for wisdom for those who so easily led astray for humility for those so fixated upon themselves, for understanding for those who seem different, who speak other languages, who maintain values different from our own. And gracious God, today we would pray for those who are in any way afflicted, distressed, disabled, lonely, and those who are captive to substances that distort their perspectives on life and all the beauty that life has to offer. And this morning we would especially lift up now, either aloud or in silence, the names of those sisters and brothers whose concerns lay heavy upon our hearts. 
for the family of Doug, for Jean, for Ralph, for Bob. Bless all who are gathered here this morning and the families from which they come, that they may know your comforting word of hope. For our hope is not a wish for a miracle, but the certainty of your presence at all times, in all places, and in all circumstances. And finally, O oh God, we give you our thanks for the children, a daily reminder of your, of your infinite grace and love. And on this Children's Day, may we especially lift up the needs of the young, that their hopes and aspirations may not be dimmed by the failures of older people. May they have the courage to define their future and ours, as one in which your holy presence is noted every moment of their lives. And so as we seek your love with all our hearts, we would be bold to pray now in the words Jesus taught us, saying, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And mindful of the offerings that we make to God every day, whether of our time, our treasure, or our talent, let us offer now a prayer of dedication. Let us pray. Eternal God, accept our many gifts, accept our lives, grace your church, those who work through it and in it, that your kingdom might come on earth, even as it already is in heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Just taking a moment to sanitize. <laughs> it's so good that we're able to do this this year. Um, at least it's one step forward. First of all, we want to recognize the students that are here. And we'll probably have each one come up and you may take a flower to bring home. Now I'm gonna challenge you to plant it. And no one ever does this, but I still challenge everyone every year when it gets big and beautiful, more beautiful than it is, to take a picture of it and send it to me. Most of you have my cell number. If not, you can send it to uh, Miss T because um, you must have hers. And um, let us know how beautiful it's coming along. You're helping to, to make some of God's beauty become more beautiful. So let's see how we can do this. Let's have, uh, no, we're going to have um, about the three, the three young ones come up and pick your flower. Is 
We want to thank each one of you that come up here for helping this year. Help us to get through this pandemic and helping the Sunday school with the, the, the teachers um, with their children's lesson every, almost every Sunday. Okay, let's take one and see how beautiful it is. Now, if any of the other young people would come forward and get theirs. And these two young ladies, they helped tremendously with the, the classes. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, guys. How are you still a student? <laughs> Why don't you just get one for him? <laughs> He's up in the balcony. Do we have all the young people? And so hopefully this next year we'll have an um, in-class lessons and uh, and have more participation and things that we can do. Um, we're praying for that anyway. Now it's um, to honor some of the adults that have helped so tremendously. I didn't bring the list. Do I have the list? Oh, it's on the back. Oh, I do have the list. Okay. First, I don't know how we'd survive without our, our church school director. Um, where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Thank you so much to Sandra. Without you, I don't know how we would get through this. Uh, thank you very much. And let's have a hand for it to Sandra. She has kept it going virtually, made sure that there were packets, um, and kept communication with all the students, um, not just the ones that are active here, but ones at home that have not been active during the pandemic. And uh, that's great. We're grateful for that. Hopefully, in the fall, uh, some of those that haven't been and haven't been active will um, come back to be an active. I'm sure she won't let them go by the wayside. She'll keep on them. Um, now the Board of Christian Education. Um, Gloria Smith, Chair. Thank you, Gloria. You can take your flower. <laughs> we definitely couldn't do without her. She's been helping me quite a bit with lessons, both on uh, in church and getting them done virtually. She's been getting crafty and creative with art projects, and we really, really couldn't do without her either. <laughs> and then Marion Mason, co chair. I could have said your name. <laughs> do you want to go pick your flowers? I will. <laughs> <laughs> Heather Pike, secretary. <laughs> Luce DeRocher, treasurer. Bob Mason. <laughs> Katie Govan. <laughs> Katie, I think, is traveling due to her work. Kathy Merchant. <laughs> and Sharon Dwinell. <laughs> now, you don't look like Sharon. <laughs> well, she does, yes, but she doesn't. If we know it's not shared. <laughs> Thank you to all this Christian, uh, the board, the Christian Ed board. It's a, it's a board, it's a working board. We really have to meet uh, monthly, and then in between we are con uh, having uh, 
texting and emailing uh, to make sure that everything is where it should be so that our young people and adults are getting educated in, the, uh, in our Christian faith. Teachers. Um, We've already thanked them. Uh, Gloria Smith, um, Cassandra has been a, a teacher most of the time, all the time, really. Jenny Oyola, who couldn't be here today, and uh, myself. Um, and Sharon Dunal, her name was forgotten. I apologize for that. And so um, those have been the teachers this year, uh, both virtually and, and uh, on site. Thank you to all of them. There's volunteers for special projects. Lance Humphrey, as you know, um, helped with the confirmation class. George Randall, if he would come forward for a flower. George helped with the history of the church and the, and the confirmands really appreciated that. He makes it interesting. Let's give John, George a hand. Jeff Dwinell helped. Jeff couldn't be here today, and oh, here comes, here comes Jeff. <laughs> uh, Dennis Doucette, who helped by uh, taking them um, around and showing them the ins and outs of the church building um, and other little tidbits. Dennis, do you want to come get a flower? Okay. And Mike and Michelle Simpson helped. Um, they couldn't be with us today. And Cynthia Scully. Now, we couldn't do all of this without the support of the staff and the technical um, support people. Uh, so Jeanette DeRochers, if you want to come get a flower. Michael Sampson. Again, Dennis Doucette. Dave, Dave DeRocher. And Jennifer Oyola. If we've missed anyone, please accept our apologies and you can get a flower um, because we certainly wouldn't want to miss someone, but we have been known to do that. And we appreciate all your prayers and all the dedication of the members of this church to help us keep our Christian education going on a good pace. Do you have anything to say? No, thank you. Okay. you have anything to say? I just wanted to give another hand and a thank you to everybody who has helped to make the church school run this year. Thank you all very, very much from the bottom of our hearts and I know that the kids really appreciate all that you do as well. Thank you. I was going to. You beat me to it. <laughs> and uh, Reverend Bill, although you didn't have too much marked in red, we really do appreciate you being here. So would you please come get a flower? <laughs> Thank you. I also want to just take one moment to thank uh, what I think is probably some of the most important people who made having church this year since last March um, possible. And that is Elizabeth and Alex, who come every Sunday. They were here for every event. Uh, and that's how the kids at home got to see uh, Sunday school and a lot of the people who didn't come during the year got to see church. Um, they, they were a lifeline to this whole church community and we thank you very much.
Note carefully the second line in the quote from Isaiah, which I use so often for a benediction. Now you shall go out in joy and be led forth in peace. Instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress. Instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle. And it shall be to the Lord for an everlasting sign which shall never be cut off. So, go in peace. Amen. Amen. Amen.